Hello friends, it's me Chirvin Koda. This is the 13th chapter in the Java FX 3D development tutorial series. And after 12 chapters, we talked about the basics of Java FX 3D. And with this chapter, we will start preparing this Earth simulation just like this. We will simply create an application like this. So this is the chapter 13th code. I am going to start a new project and this is a simple java fx application class and if you look at this we can start from so many places maybe we can do with background or we can start with this slider for now i'm going to start with the, the earth okay first we have to prepare the earth then we will set the moon and we will prepare the rest of the things so talking about earth earth is nothing but a sphere here i, I can just use a sphere and give some texture to get this effect so this is the class earth.java and i have to take some amount of methods from the previous tutorial code so we talked about each and every line of this in the previous chapters so if you guys haven't watched them i seriously suggest you to watch them uh, those video those first 12 chapters okay i'm going to take this smart group because that is obviously reusable then what i need is i need to simply set the environment i am going to use the previous width with 1400 and a height 1000 so that is fine in my computer then then i need to set the camera so what we are doing here is this we are creating a new camera then we create a scene and then we add that scene to the primary stage so i'm just doing the uh, primary things here the basic things okay so that's it we prepared the basic skeleton and we have somehow have to pass a sphere to this scene and in order to prepare sphere uh, before that let me just create a smart group object so we can do rotation and those kind of things easily so smart group world and that is my world and i'm going to create a new instance then i can add world dot get children dot add and here i have to add my earth object so i'm going to write a method called prepare earth okay then let me create that method and we will return earth from there then this world can be added to the scene okay so far so good and here we have to prepare a sphere so this is what we have done in the chapter one we talked about how to create a sphere so it can be done just like this sphere sphere equals new sphere and i'm going to give the radius as 150 and i'm not do at, uh, doing any texturing or something like that i'm just returning that sphere and let us run the program right now and see how it is looking and we are too close to the object that is why we can see that we are very much near to the sphere and we can see the uh, surface of the sphere so what i have to do is i have to somehow somehow go back by a little bit by with the camera so i'm going back with the thousand so i can keep the earth at a distance from my eye and yes now we have to apply the texture on the earth we simply created the uh, sphere and we have to apply the texture so the most important thing is the diffuse map so this is the earth diffuse map as you might have guessed this is rectangular because once you take out the surface of a sphere it will be rectangular like this so we can apply this rectangular texture over the sphere so that it will look like an earth and in order to do that let me create a font material so font material at material equals new font material and here I have to set the diffuse map and that can be done get class get resources stream and I have to pass the location so it is inside resources inside earth and inside earth d.jpg and 
I have to put this in an image constructor so new image and the next thing I have to do is to apply that uh, material over the sphere so sphere dot set material and I can pass earth material there and now let me just run this program and as you can see we got the uh, material the earth material over the sphere and that's the end of this video in the next video we will continue with this project and as always thanks for watching this video